Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a nice one here. 2023 Panini National Treasures Baseball, two box, half case, pick your team one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got a Chase the Mantle entry given away, uh, being given away at the end. So stay tuned for that. There's the fresh case right here. And big thanks to everybody who got into the action here on Wednesday the 26th. Pick your team one, Alan. You got Last Spot Mojo, good luck. And congrats to the people who won their teams. Brett and the Orioles, Robert with the Yankees in that filler. And thanks to everyone else who bought their team straight up. I appreciate that as well. Here's the fresh case. Good luck, everyone. All right, so we've got two boxes up top, two boxes on the bottom. It's a half case break. So we'll go one, two, three for the top half, four, five, six for the bottom half, and it's one. We're in the top two right here. And then we're going to save these for next time, which would be pick your team two. I mark those two, so we know we're from the same case. And good luck with this one. There it is, 2023 NT Baseball. What's up, Oliver? Yeah, as a Laker fan, I'm, I'm happy with the pick. The sticker is right over the, the 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 box notches right here. It makes it a little annoying. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I I also like that he's it's got some experience. A bit of an older player, which is fine. I feel like I feel like it's a player that could. I feel like that's a player that could contribute right away. Yeah, it, is he a, a JJ Redick type player? He's blank card to slow play the hits a little bit. It's like we got a book on top, and that's going to be legendary signatures, eighty-four out of ninety-nine. Wow, sweet Lou Brock, legendary signatures, Chicago edition. Lou Brock played for the Cubs. Yeah, I didn't realize he spent his first few seasons with Chicago. Why did the Cubs trade him? Huh. All right, well, didn't realize. Hey, but that's a nice... It's a nice, uh, nice start, though. Yeah, be sure to check that break schedule, Drew, so you'll never miss a break. We are through exactly zero boxes. We are in one card, no Dodgers yet. But this will go to the Cubs, Raymond with the Cubbies. Now we still got that many left, plus that box right back there. You, you have missed nothing. Perfect timing. Here's Phil Necro, 24 out of 25. Sup, Gilo? That's for the Braves. That'll be for Barry. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the... So Brock had great speed and base running instincts, but the young right fielder failed to impress the Cubs management, hitting for only a combined 260 average over his first two seasons. In 1964, after losing patience with his development, the Cubs gave up on Brock and made him part of a trade with the Cardinals. 
the June 15 deadline deal for Ernie Broglio saw Brock Jacks ring and Paul Toth head for the St. Louis. For Broglio, Bobby Shantz, and Doug Clements. Don't know any of those guys. Cardinals general manager uh, Bing Devine specifically sought Brock at the insistence of manager Cardinals manager Johnny Keane to increase team speed and solidify the Cardinals lineup, which was struggling after the retirement of left fielder Stan Musial. Stan Musial retires in 63, and in 64, they get another Hall of Famer. At the, at the time, many thought the deal was a heist for the Cubs. Broglio had led the National League in wins four years earlier and won 18 games a season before the trade. There you go. Cubs doing Cubs things. 19 out of 25, John Small. I feel like if you're a Cubs fan who buys the Cubs in a picker team, I feel like you don't want that card. All right, there's Smoltzy. Triple Relic for Barry. Back-to-back -back Braves. And we got early win, 14 out of 40. Piece of the jersey for the Nationals. No, this is not for the Nationals. This is going to be... Uh, twins? I think the na the senators of that era turned into the Rangers. No, the twins. So yeah, he played for the Senators from 1939 through 1948, interrupted by World War II, I think, a little bit. But that's the team that turned into the Twins. So that'll be for Minnesota. That'll be for Raymond. The Senators that were on the, that, that the Senators reappeared again in D.C., Again, and that Senators team turned into the Rangers. This Senators team turned into the Twins. All right, we got Zach Neto. 90 out of 99 penmanship jersey and autograph. That's right, Jimmy. For, for Mariners fans, I guess if you buy the Reds and somehow end up seeing a Ken Griffey Jr., Reds edition, I think I feel like that would be that would be the slap in the face, hobby wise. Um, Christopher with the Angels. We got Jacob Berry, Eckler's Choice jersey and autograph, seventy four out of ninety nine. That's for the fish. That's going to go to Barry. Then we got Sal Freelich, 87 out of 99. Got some nice uh, Brewers colors in that window there. It's a rookie patch and autograph going to the Brew Crew. That will be for Justin. And we got more Eckler's Choice. Kyle Harrison, jersey and autograph, 10 out of 99. Don't forget your 1099s, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to Dylan and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Here is Carlton Fisk, 19 out of 25. Penmanship material signatures, jersey and autograph. That'll go to the Red Sox. Alan Murdoch, last spot mojo, strikes again. And last one here is Mason Wynn. Nice, 49 out of 49. 
Big three color patch and autograph. One of the up and coming uh, Cardinals youngsters. So that will go to Shane in St. Louis. Beat me in St. Louis. Right, Gilo, un unless unless you filed for, I mean, I guess I was more thinking about, I guess next year's taxes. This year, if you have not filed your taxes already, uh, you're a little late unless you filed an extension. If you did not file an extension, I don't know what you do. Are there, what happens if you just file your taxes late? Do you, you get, do you get penalized? Does, does the government come after you? It's never happened to me. Ooh, thick one here. Look at that. Got a lot of thick cards here. I always do it at the end of the break. You gotta make people wait. Maximum suspense. And just in case there's any, like if I have to do any multi-team randomizers, we do all that stuff. Take care of all that at the end. All right, there's our blank card here. 21 out of 99, jumbo material signatures. Bam! We got Cade Horton. Horton hears a who. For Chicago, that's going to go to Raymond and the Cubs. And we got AJ Smith Shaver, rookie relic that is 31 out of 49. going to be for Barry and the ATL. There's Mason win again, 43 out of 49 piece of the jersey going to Shane and St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis. Ring, ring, ring goes the trolley. I think that's the movie where uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas was in that movie and then became, I guess, a Christmas standard after that. There's Sweet Lou Brock, Cardinals edition. 98 out of 99, 118 stolen bases. That's awesome. Will we see 113 stolen bases ever again? Wasn't Ellie Dela Cruz on, on pace for that at some point this season? Some, he might get close. Shane with the Cardinals. There's the big D, Don Drysdale. Nice, 34 out of 99. What's with the, the pine trees in the background here? Oh, field gear, but in a field of pine trees? All right. Drew, with the Dodgers, there you go, Drew. You can ponder that when you get this card. Uh, did my Lakers get a steal? James, hi James. Uh, I hope so. That's what the internet seemed to be saying. A lot, of, a lot of happy Lakers fans. I'm happy. TBD if he's a steal, though. Cole Young, 27 out of 99. Cole Forever Young going to Gentry and the Mariners. Ask the local Gentry. You say it's elementary. Try, try, try to separate them. There's Jared Schuster, 20 out of 99. Jersey and autograph. Barry. Yeah, ESPN did have him ranked pretty high. I, I don't know why, like maybe teams are scared away by the age. He's 23, but for the Lakers who are pretty much in win now mode, win, win LeBron mode, I feel like they have to feel like having an experienced player, NBA ready, as NBA ready as anyone could be is best, so I'm happy with it. 
Uh, Barry, once again, with the Braves, gets the Schuster. We got Andrew Jones. Great penmanship from Andrew Jones. Another Brave for Barry. He's heating up. He's on fire from downtown. Couple more to go. Jace Young, Josh's brother. 41 out of 99. Jersey and autograph for the Tigers. Raymond with the Detroit Tigers. And then the last one is Evan Carter. Nice. 19 out of 99. Quad relic and autograph. Raymond with the Texas Rangers. All right. Not a bad break. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get after it. Check it out. Make it happen. Um, all right. Now, as you know by now, by the, at the end of every break, that has Chase the Mantle in the title. going to gather your names, new dice, new list, and one entry is going to be given away to the name on top after three and a four, seven times. We're almost halfway through. We've got to do 200 entries. or almost at 100. After seven, good luck. Name on top after seven. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. There's going to be a lot of sad faces here, but I appreciate you trying. Very close gentry, just not quite. But I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. Keep trying. Top name. You're happy because you got an entry. Bang, Oliver, woo! That might be Oliver's second spot, I think. So Oliver, after seven, congrats to you. You're chasing the mantle. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Take two. I'm Joe from jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye. We'll fix that in post.